With Twinmotion 2020 here, today we're going to take a look at the brand new improved depth of field feature that now exists in Twinmotion 2020. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're taking a look at Twinmotion 2020.1 and we're going to take a look at how you can work with depth of field in this brand new version. Since this is one of the most requested video about Twinmotion 2020, since we did drop the walkthrough video, and with that said, I'm going to simply go in here and we'll start talking about this thing. So first things we need to do is come over here and I'm just going to get a couple of cards. So I'm just going to drop them around. I'm just going to drop these things around here. And with that done, next thing which I need to do is I'm going to get this SUV and drop it right about there. So if you want to work with depth of field, there are certain things you need to keep in mind. First of all, you need to make sure that you understand the idea behind aperture. And next off, you need to also understand the idea behind the lenses, which in twin motion is called FOV, which is field of view. We're going to talk about all of these things now, but then if I simply press F on our keyboard, we can zoom right into this car and get this right here. So I'm also going to think about centralizing this right here. I'm going to keep this here. I'm also going to push this to the point like this and probably another one right about this point. So let's just simply rotate. Cool. So with all of these things going on, I can also choose to change the color of the card. This is all, you know, aesthetic things that you may want to do and that's about it. So how you can get your depth of field working is if you go over to your media section, you can choose to start off by doing the depth of field for the video or you can simply do that for the image. So for the image, if you come over here, you can click on create image and with that done, you can also come through and click here where you have more. Now I would like to add some, you know, a couple of features in the weather. Let's get that going. And at the same time, I may also want to play with the lighting of our entire scene, which has to do with lighting right here. So for this one now, I might just simply, you know, reduce that just a little bit more. And if we go over to the settings, we can also turn these things a little bit down, depending on what we want. I'm also going to go all the way back and go to camera. So in your camera is where everything actually happens. So for your camera, if you simply click on depth of field on, you're going to get an effect like this. If you switch on depth of field off, you're going to get an effect like that. You will also notice that right here we have a FOV and it's set to 90, which is actually our lens size. So if I simply set this to 50, you see our field of view is going to be about 50. So with 50 right here, you can see we have a closer looking object. So this is very important anytime you're trying to create depth of field your lens actually matters and your aperture matters now we're talking about lenses let's proceed to aperture so with the idea of lenses out of the way if we proceed to aperture we need to go over to the depth of field turn this on and now you can see we have way more things going on compared to the time where we had our field of view set to 90. so when our field of view was set to 90 we couldn't really see so much result but now that it's set to 50 you can see way more result going i'm also going to come over here and click on more and with more selected, I can also see that our field of view is still set to 50 at this point. Now your bouquet actually goes from square to star to circle. We're going to talk about this one in a bit. You might have also noticed that right here within the aperture, we have our aperture set to 1.0. Contrary to previous versions of Twin Motion, we were not able to have access to certain things like this. All right. So if I go through and open up a previous version of Twin Motion like we have right here, you would also notice that we have a couple of things, but aperture wasn't one of the things that we had access to so by simply doing this coming over here click here create that switch over to more and go over to depth of field we were not having access to aperture if i even go over to the more right here you can also notice that we never had access to that and this is one of the good improvements that is coming over with twin motion 2020 and it's really cool to see that we can actually go through and play with that so with this right here you can choose to play with the aperture all right to get what you're going for or you can simply keep this as it is i'm just going to set this to about 1.4 and zoom a little bit inwards and now we have a brand new widget right here that we can use to select and point to where we want our focus to be so this is actually telling twin motion where we want our focus distance to start from 
So if I simply click here, you can see our focus distance actually changed. And with that right now, we can go through and play with the aperture by simply dragging that down. You notice we have way more depth going in here. Now your depth also matters based on the lens one more time. So if I come over here and change this to a 24 millimeter lens, you can see we have a much more closer shot. All right, you can see we have a much more closer shot like this. I'm also going to just simply right click, select the model, hold down shift to rotate around about a point like this and position this right about here. So with this here, if I simply go back from here, which will take us back to the media, come back to this point. So I'm just going to go back one more time. Let's zoom all the way back, rotate this about a point like this. I need to, you know, update this so I can update the capture that we had. Also, I'm going to come over here and click on more and with more selected, I would also go back to the camera. So go back here, go back to depth of field, click here and now simply click. Now you can see that we have way more depth going in here. Our aperture is already set to one. The more you increase the aperture, the less depth of field you have. So it's best to simply keep it at, you know, 1.4 all the way to one. And this is also dependent on the kind of lens you're working with. So because we're working with a 24 millimeter lens, you can notice right now that our depth of field is a little bit way more compared to where we're working with 50 and also compared to where we're working with a 90 millimeter. So I'm also going to click right here for you to see that and you know, the the more we do this, the, the better we get. So how can you apply this in a moving shot? So to apply this into a moving shot, we need to go all the way back to media and actually come over to where we have video. So from video, I'm just going to click over here to create a brand new video, which is going to give us this. So at any point in time, you can change your depth of field. I'm also going to move to a different point. So let's actually rotate this to a different point, probably a point like this. Right. And I'm also going to click right here, which I want to make as my focus point. And I'm also going to click here and say, create new frame. So with that there, I'm going to go over to the section where I have more, go over to where I have the camera and depth of field. So with that there, the next thing which I would like to do is pretty simple. I can actually choose to start increasing my aperture from here, which is going to give me way less depth of field. And you can actually notice that happening in the background. So if I just simply increase this, reduce this, you can see that happening, all right? I can also choose to go through and change the amount of bouquet that I have. This might not really be so effective because the scene which you have doesn't really support it right now. But then you can use this to play with the aperture as much as you want. So let's say you want your aperture to be about, let's say two, for example, I'm going to simply set that to what it is. Go over to this section called video, come back to this point and simply click recapture to actually recapture that. So for the next one, I'm also going to come through. Let's go all the way back to a point like this and simply pan all to this point. So within this section, I would like to click here to make my, you know, my focus to be there. Oh, you know, you guys, we can actually do something very different by simply coming through and panning over to this section, clicking right to this particular car about this point come over here and also change our depth of field to be something more within that section. So if I come through and go over to where we have camera and go down to this point, I can turn this all the way down. Let me, you know, recapture this one more time. I can turn this all the way down and actually throw in way more bouquet, although we don't see that. Okay. I can actually do that and go back to where I have the videos and simply refresh to actually load that in. So if I come back and press the playback button, actually, I think I should, you know, simply take out this. It doesn't really fit into the scene right now. All right, so if I come through and press the playback button, you would notice that our depth of field actually moves from here and moves over to a point like this. So this is uh, a couple of things that you can use in your scene and you can actually use this to get some very cool looking stuff going on especially if you want to change the focus of your camera. This is actually the same very cool on. way to get things going. So there's a couple of, you know, extra examples that I would like to show you guys, but then you can simply, you know, take this and start working with it. So the work regardless of the scene which you're working on. So in case you're working on a scene, let's say you're working on an interior scene you get from SketchUp or from somewhere else, you can actually go through and use this. And by the way, we can take a look at the very simple scene that we have here in SketchUp up so i'm also going to load this directly into um to emotion so by just simply clicking here and hit 
you know scene to emotion we can do that and we're going to get that scene right in here so you can see we have a scene right here and we can do a couple of beautifications if we want you know play around things if we want change the materials change a couple of things so you can do all of the stuff that you want to do for your scene and once you're ready you can proceed and take exactly the same steps that we used in you know playing with the whole depth of field thing to actually create something interesting for you so this is about it i would like to know what you guys think about the new depth of field that now exists in twin motion 2020 and of course if you learned something from this or you found this video useful go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.